Hello everybody, welcome. The other day I was uh, in England, you saw me in the garden and we were looking at some flowers and things. Uh, here, here am I right now in the garden here in, in Spain and I just thought I'd show you a few flowers here before we go into the studio. I want to do a little bit of decorating with you. Um, oh, the swallows have arrived as well, not so long ago and they're twittering away. Nice borage plant here that is comes up everywhere. Geraniums, of course. These guys, which are called pinks. And this is a, an apricot tree here, and you can see the the baby apricots there forming on the branches. As if I swing the camera up there, you can see that's an, an almond tree and the nuts up there. As there are on this one here, here's, here's an almond. These are almonds that are just f forming. More up there. All of these things round about us can give us inspiration. At least I, I, that's the, that's that's what I think they can. They can certainly give us inspiration, and uh, those natural things around about us that uh, out in nature and everything that uh, are are there for us all to see. We should go and absorb them and look at them and study them. And anyway, I'm just going to do some decorating here in the studio, and the goblets that I was decorating, sorry glazing, I'm now decorating so I'm just going to set up here the camera on the tripod um, and get down to, as you can see in front of me here I've got some some iron oxide pigment. I'll just grab a couple of these and put them there. De -de 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 -de. Well, I hope you're going to see this. Are we in the picture? Maybe we need it just. Yeah, more or less. More or less, I think. So, put some iron oxide here with a little bit of. So I'm going to take one of these and just going to do a little squiggle. So a loose interpretation of a of a grapevine. Thing is, we're not trying to do. exact copies. Next one. That fellow over there. I think we need a bit more water in this pigment. It's getting a bit, a bit claggy. We keep the pigment flowing off the brush. I'm going to have to put my glasses on as well. I'm a bit close to my to the work here. I just I need glasses. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting old. Right. Okay. Let's go. So. Now any one of you can do this. Don't think, oh crumbs, I can't do that. I'm not an artist like Simon Leach. For goodness sake, don't start thinking like that. That's just... Just start doing it. You'll find it'll come. 
not as difficult as it looks. I'm trying to do that so you can see what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm, if I'm succeeding or not. Yeah, I'm trying to do some leaves here, you see. Some bunches of grapes. The thing is, it doesn't have to be exactly symmetrical. Although I, I do these, they're sort of similar, if you see what I mean. Each one is actually different. Let's see if I can grab one more. Here's another. The leaves are a bit kind of random because that's how they are. If you look up at a grapevine, they're all sort of coming and going, aren't they, all over the place? So, oh, I'll do one more. One more, right. And there we are, one more. So that's iron oxide mixed with water. This is this glaze it uh, is a celadon glaze which is equal parts 25% china clay 25% quartz 25% um, whiting which is calcium carbonate and 25% potash feldspar and then with about 2% red iron oxide Mix it all together, put it through a 100 mesh sieve, and that's that glaze. That's a nice celadon glaze, which is a green glaze in a reduction firing atmosphere. Um, and then, as I say, just the, the simple decoration painted on, which stands out quite nicely on the, um, on the clay, which is nicely toasted. I'll tell you what, I've got a bowl here I can show you just happens to be here. See this bowl? There you see the iron oxide, how it comes out, painted directly onto this same clay body. See how nice and toasty it is? And um, that's the sort of contrast that you'll get with iron oxide directly over a clay body. It's more attractive if it's over a clay body that is a little bit on the toasty side. Hey, hang on in there, keep practicing. We'll see you around. Bye now.